हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज लेट द रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स हैव यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑन द इंटरवल पाई बाई सिक्स टू पाई बाई टू दिन प्रॉबिलिटी दैट कॉस एक्स ग्रेटर दैन साइन एक्स इज नाउ सिंस एक्स फॉलोज यूनिफॉर्म पाई बाई सिक्स टू पाई बाई टू एफ एक्स एक्स दैट इज द पी डी एफ इज इक्वल टू वन बाई पाई बाई टू माइनस पाई बाई सिक्स दिस इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाई पाई फॉर एक्स ग्रेटर दैन इज इक्वल टू पाई बाई सिक्स एंड लेस एन इक्वल टू पाई बाई टू एंड जीरो अदरवाइज नाउ Let us draw the curve for cos x and sin x. So the curve for sin x goes like this, and the curve for cos x is pretty much like this. With this is pi by two. This is pi by four. This is one by root two. Over here, this is one, and this is the origin. Now we can see that cos x greater than sin x when x belongs to pi by six. To pi by four. That is, in this particular region. Where this is cos x. So probability cos x greater than sin x is equal to probability x belonging to pi by 6 to pi by 4 and that is equal to now integrating the function from limits pi by 6 to pi by 4 with 3 by pi dx we get 3 by pi pi by 4 minus pi by 6 And on solving this, we get this to be equal to one by four. So the correct option is option D. The next question is: Let x one, x two, x three be a random sample from a distribution with probability density function f x given theta is equal to one by theta e to the power minus x by theta, where x greater than zero and theta greater than zero, or zero otherwise. So over here, x follows exponential distribution with parameter one by theta. So expectation x is equal to theta, and variance x is equal to theta squared. Now we need to find that which of the following estimators of theta has the smallest variance. So checking for option A, variance x one. Plus three x two, plus x three by five, is equal to one by twenty five. Now variance x one is theta squared, plus three comes out, so three squared nine into x two is theta squared plus x three theta squared, so eleven by twenty five theta squared, which is zero point four four theta squared. Now option B. Variance x one plus x two plus two x three by four is equal to one by sixteen theta squared plus theta squared plus four theta squared, and this is three by eight theta squared, which is zero point three seven five theta squared. Now for option C, variance x one plus x two 
plus x3 by 3 gives us 1 by 9 theta squared plus theta squared plus theta squared is equal to 3 theta squared by 9 which is theta squared by 3 and this is 0 0.33 theta squared now for the fourth option variance x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 by 6 is equal to 1 by 36 theta squared plus 4 theta squared plus 9 theta squared this is 14 by 36 theta squared which is 0 0.388 theta squared. So since the least variance is 0 0.33 theta squared, our correct answer is option C.